Hi there you guys! Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and when I show you how to make this element you will be able uh, to use it for bracelet, necklaces and I have tutorial for earrings and for a ring and I'll link them here at the eye icon to see them. That is why it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell because in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets. If you want to support me you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and here I use lobster's claw clasp and the jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. And by the way, you could use 10 o seed beads as well. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeter. This is size 10 deep beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step, I'm going to take 12 of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay guys, and now I have my 12 beads here. Okay, I have my 12 and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice here through the loop I've made and pull. Okay, and this is called surgeon's knot or how hitch knot. And now I'm going to make one more knot here. Okay, and pull. Now I'm sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And I will go through some beads here in this direction. Okay, and I have this. Okay, now I'm going to start my next row by picking up three green beads and as I'm exiting from this yellow bead I'm going back in circle through this yellow and you see now what I have I have a loop between this yellow bead and these green beads and they make a cross of four here okay this is called right angle weave now I'm going to go in the next yellow okay and in this step, in my next step, I'm going to take only two beads and these will be two red beads, okay? And as I'm exiting from this yellow, I will go through this green and this yellow I'm exiting out of. And you see I still have four beads, but I'm using one bead from my previous loop of beads and one from the center. That is why I'm adding only two beads and I still have a cross of four beads, okay? Then in my next step, I'm going in my next yellow bead. Okay, and here what I need are two beads again. And I will take a green and a red, okay? This is what I have on my needle. And I'm going through this green and through the yellow. Still have four, you see in a cross okay now go in my next yellow and here I need three green beads like I have here but one of them is already there that is why I'm going to take two greens go through this one which is the third one and go in the center through the yellow bead okay now I have this and I will go in my next yellow. Then again here, what I need are two red beads. Go in this green. And by the way, 
In one movement you could go also through the following yellow and in this time you save time. In this way you save time. Here I need one green and one red and I'm going here. Okay, now I have this. Then two greens. Two reds. A green and a red. And I'm here, guys, where I need to add a green and a red. That is why I'm going here through this yellow. But you see here, I already have this green from the first loop of beads I did in this row. I already have it here. That is why here I will go, I will add only a red because this green is already there, okay? And I'm going here inside. Okay, guys, and this first row is ready. Now for my next row, I wanna go here through this green bead. And here I'm going to add only yellow beads. This whole row will consist of only yellows. Okay guys, and I added uh, my yellows and now what I need to take are three yellow beads again and as I'm exiting from this green bead, I'm going back in circle through this green and now this is what I have. Then I go through the next two beads. My goal is to exit out of a red one. And then I will take one red and two yellows. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back in circle through this red one. Like that. Then I go again through two beads. My goal is to exit out of the red one. And here what I need are two yellows and one red bead okay and i'm going back in circle through this red one okay my goal is to exit out of my next green here i need three yellow beads go back through this green and if you can go in the next two beads, the yellow and the red. Here my goal is to exit through a green or through a red that's on my way. Okay. And here I need one red, two yellows. Go back. Then exit out of your next red and take two yellows one red
and exit out of the next green one. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and I have one more additional row in order to finish my work, okay? And in order to do this row, this last row, I will go through all of those yellow beads here. And I want to exit above my flower. And here I need three yellow beads and I'm going here. Okay, this is what I have. Then I will go through all of those yellow beads and I'm going to reach my next flower. Here I need three beads. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay, and I have three beads here and I finish my work with them. And now guys, this is the first element of my bracelet. That is why what I want to do is go here and attach my clasp, okay? I'm exiting here and I want to attach my clasp and in order to do this I'm taking two green beads like that and I'm going back in circle through my clasp then I take two more green beads like that and I go back through this one Okay, now I'm going to reinforce my work and cut my thread. Okay guys, and here I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm, let's say, here. I have here a loop and I'm going once. And I'm going second time through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I go through the following seed bead. And what I do is that I cut my thread. Okay guys, now I'm going to make one more element the same way and I will be back to tell you how to connect it to this one. Okay guys, and I just did another element like this one. 
and I want to attach it here to this okay and I'm taking one green bead and I'm going back through this yellow bead here I'm exiting out of this edge yellow bead and then I'm going through this one okay then I'm going to take one more green bead go here through this yellow and pull now I have this and I'm going to reinforce this joint here Okay guys, now here what I want to do is make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and pull, then go through the following bead. and then cut my thread okay now guys I have this and I will continue this and when I have a bracelet that's long enough I'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and when I continue beading the same way adding more and more elements here is what I have this is my seventh element you could add eight or more elements depending on your wrist okay and now i'm here i just reinforced this part and what i want to do is go through all of my beads exit here and add my jump ring okay and in order to do this going through all of those beads it doesn't matter where you go from the important thing is to reach the other parts of your work. Okay, and I'm exiting from this bead that's sticking out. And now I'm going to take five more of these beautiful green beads okay I have my five here and I'm going to take my jump ring and I will go back in circle through these beads here and I'm going to reinforce it Okay guys, and now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to make a knot, I'm going here between those two beads, making a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made, pulling. And then I go through the following seed bead, Okay, and now I'm cutting my thread. This is what I have and I have an additional step to finish this bracelet. And in order to do this, I'm going to take a new thread on my needle, which is longer. Uh, this is uh, about half an arm span of thread and I'm going to attach it here. Okay, so in order to attach it, I'm going here through some beads. Here I leave a small tail and I will hold it with my thumb. And now I will make a loop here between those two beads. I will go once and I will go second time through this loop I've made like this. And I'm going to pull. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay, and I will go in this direction. Now I'm sticking my needle in my mat. And here, what I want to do is cut this tail thread, okay? 
Now guys, what I want to do is reach here at the end of this element. And in order to do this, I will go through all of those bits in this direction. And here, guys, from this angle bit, I'm going through three bits. And this is my central bit. You see here, I have three bits until the angle and three bits until the angle. Okay, and I'm going out of this middle bit here. And I'm going to use this point to connect this element to this one. And I'm going to take three green beads like that and I will go through this middle yellow bead here. How I find the middle the same way like here one two three beads one two three beads from this angle bead okay. Now in my next step I want to reach here and exit out of this middle bead here and in order to do this I'm doing the same thing like I did before. And here, guys, I exit from the middle bit. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is the middle one. And I take three green beads. Okay, I have those three green beads. One, two, three. This is the fourth one from the angle, which is the middle one. Okay. And I'm pulling here. Okay, pull tight. Now this is what I have. And now guys, I'm going to continue this. I will go here through those beads, add three beads here and continue until the end of my bracelet. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I connected most of my elements from this side with three seed beads. Okay, and here I am at my last step of this row where I'm adding three green beads, okay, and I pull. And now guys, guess what? Um, I want to reach the other part of my work, okay, I want to exit here and continue connecting my elements with three more beads, okay, and in order to do this, I will turn my work this way. It's easier for me to work in this direction. I'm right-handed, okay? And that is why I will reach this part. And it doesn't matter where you reach it from. You want to, you might want to go from here, but I think it's shortcut to go through those bits here. Okay, and you see this is my middle bit here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I will continue this the same way. I'm taking three green beads finding the middle one here okay pull now guess what I'm going through all of those beads in this direction And I exit here from my middle bead. Okay, now I take three more green beads. Like that. 
Okay, and you know what to do next. Pause this video, go through all of those elements and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm up to here. I went through all of my elements like this and now I'm here at my last stage where I need to add the last three beads, make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. This is what I have. Now I'm going here through those yellow beads, pulling tight. And here I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop, going once, going second time through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then in my next step, I'm going in my following seed bead and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my summer seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I have earrings and a ring matching this bracelet and I'll link to them here at the eye icon. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, link to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.